Hello, what's up? Good afternoon na naman po sa lahat, especially po sa mga Laravel developers dyan. Good afternoon. So, right now, we will be checking our new features in Laravel 7. So, I just, after the, to download it, you just need to use this one. Or if you have installed Laravel as global, you just need to do this one. Um, just name what you want. So, here, basically, for the check, if we have the Laravel 7 version, let's go to composer.json, and here we have 7. So, basically, we have a fresh install, and we will be checking the component new features of Laravel 7, which is way, way too cool. So, check that. Let's type PHP Artisan. So, for that, you will find a new... You will find a new command which is make components. Well, the rest of it is very familiar, except this one. So, for that, we will be creating a sample PHP artisan make component front view sidebar um, front view, maybe front view or side view okay it's up to you so oh not composer but component okay so okay we created already a component so we can find that component we just created here in our apps and views well you will just wondering that why is it the components just under the app well to be honest I even don't know but I can see the concept here that it works like a controller so here we have a generated component side view and then we also have a generated component which located into view let's go to resource view components and side view so this one so we will be starting how to use this and this is very fun guys so first of all, we go to our route, well obviously, we go to our route, and then here, let me try to inject some things here, like um, names, um, we'll be injecting, like number of names, like Morley, Morals, Morlax, and that's it. So for that, we will be visiting our views. The default one which is this one welcome and to use our side view we just simply need to do this x side bar and that one and then here in our blade I want to say something morely the programmer save okay so this is how you call this one this one so I know I know it's very familiar if you are using view react and angular you just need to create some components and call that easily with, with using HTML tags I know so it's more like um, open that one sidebar okay of course it's not sidebar but side view I'm sorry for that well bugs is just you know part of our life we can't avoid that <laughs> for sure so here since we already called our side view which is here and this is the controller side of our components you know and I want to I want also to you know to pass the names which is in array form so to use that or to do that let me pass also some basic stuff like the title and the title will be laravel 7 components so for this we need to go to our views components here not in resource but the view here this one so here we can do such thing like public title 
and use our constructor title and well obviously we assign it here and then to use that one let's go here in our resource view and use the title how cool is that oops uh -huh. title so let's refresh Okay, we have here Laravel 7 components. Let me get rid of this more little programmer. <laughs> it's annoying. Okay, so the next one is, you know, this is this one is works like a props in React. And also we have that in Angular and Vue. So the next thing we're gonna need is we want to get this data, the names, they are welcome, and pass it into our components. So to do that, we just need to do this binding one names and names. So we're going to catch that here in our components, which is in our app view components here, public names. So, well, obviously we implement that in our constructor since we are doing this one. Everything we add here attributes must be touched by our constructor and then names will be something like this and this one. Perfect. So to do that, since we already passed that one here, so you will be wondering why is it we are just doing this one and the component side view which is in our view resource here already get that data well if you're familiar familiar with laravel mailables so basically when you declare public here automatically this components view in our resource here basically get that data that directly so for that this is names we will be implementing a for each here as item each and well we still need to do some unordered list and this and item so basically the output will be this list of names of me which people call me with different kinds of names and that's okay so here imagine how cool was that maybe we can do maybe you can do this one like put a design or you will make this one as as much as reusable as you want that's this is really really cool the next thing I want you I want to share you like on um, this name of this components here in our view in our app actually you can do a lot of things here like doing a public function foods and then it can be done an array so it's up to you here what you're gonna do like you're gonna make, you can do some logic some business logic here some coding stuff here um yeah basically so the first one we're gonna put is a then show my pizza and Honko. so that's it so to use this one to use this one you will be wondering that uh, maybe we can inject it here but we can inject it here like something like that or compact no to use this one since it's been declared as public function you can easily do a loop here yeah to be honest I, even me I can't believe that this is how powerful it is so for this we just need to go to our side view blade and change the one into foods and item echo item and then you can see here the list of foods here so how perfect was that yeah even me I don't believe it the one that the first thing that I saw this one so you can do your business model here maybe catching some things uh, from the resource or catching from the API or in in the webs and then adding some data here or doing some you know like um, the collection yeah. you can do a lot of things here and pretty awesome uh, this one is I believe that they always follow the, the 
principles of dry that you don't repeat yourself and then the reusable one which is very very cool in this Laravel 7 features and we'll be making some videos for it in the future and I hope you subscribe my channel for the support thank you